Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is Flynn, Son of Crimson time. This is a 2D action game that I've had my eye on for a very long time. It just released today, so we're just going to dive in, get started. It has some very excellent pixel art, it has some good music, all of that stuff you can already see. But I want to know is about the action. So I'm going to be playing this with a controller. So we'll see how this goes. You go easy, normal, or hard. We'll go on normal, just see what the default experience is. But we're diving right in, and you see right away we have Flynn. A great threat is approaching. Please, Flynn. Uh, Restance yeah, need you. Wake up. All right, so just diving right into the game. I don't usually go in within the first 40 seconds of let's just dive in, but I, I'm, I've I'm been waiting long enough for this one, so there is, a, like I said, the pixel art for this game is just what caught my attention first off, but it is a 2D action game. I don't even know exactly if it's Metroidvania-esque or anything, but Dex is sleeping peacefully, dreaming of adventures. Finally awake, uh, lazy bones. I've been smashing things out here all morning and you still out cold down there. Time to make yourself useful. I know Dex is a great island guardian all, but she needs her walkies. Go and take her out into the forest. Since you've done nothing all day, take my old wooden sword for some more training out there. It's in the shack. Go grab it. Trim some of those pesky thorns for me while you're there. Would you lad? It seems like the vines have a growth spurt out of nowhere. Well, that's a little too real for me. Oh, there's a cat on the light post as well. So, in case you didn't see where the sword was... I'm just checking to see where everything else is. It's a sword! Attack with X. So, so far everything kind of normal. Roll with B. It's interesting because usually in these games I roll with A, but we have a jump, so... I'll see how I adjust. So look! It's time for walkies! And, uh, we have an inventory. Um, do you just want to check the controls real quick, just to make sure... Um, jump, roll, attack, heal, switch weapon, cast magic, crimson control. So it doesn't look like we have a map to speak of, which is fine. Because we're just taking our dog for a walk and there's nothing bad that could possibly happen. Apparently we don't walk that way though. So yeah, this is, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this style of game, I, I, hope, you're, I hope you understand that this is one of the oldest styles of games that's really been available. It's a uh, 2D action fighting, very Castlevania, very uh, Legend of Zelda, especially with the overworld here. And now we're going to go take a walk at Wild Edge Grove. And we just hit some birds. All the birds are running from us. Look at us training on this. And then there's another bird. Not a very angry bird. Then we have little shards as well. I'm sure those will um, become notable in just a little bit. All right, there's there's Doggo. And I will say, I have not played this before. So if there was some kind of early release of this, I did miss it. So what are you? All right, so apparently our dog does not like to jump up on big things. Good to know. There's a light post. Okay, I can wall jump. So I love it when games do this stuff like this. It's like, I can't make it, but well, okay, it's not even wall jump, it's ledge grab. So, games like, I can't reach something, can we just try it? Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything with those shoulder button abilities yet, so I imagine we're gonna have something happen that makes everything, everything just a little bit different. Alright, so. So there's one. And two. Apparently, our wooden sword can magically activate these switches. Why are we walking our dog in some kind of forbidden woods? I'd love to know. Why are we taking our dog for walkies into this forbid foreboding cave? With some weird twitchy plants? Hello! I imagine if I roll into them, I'll get hurt. So let's find out. No! I did not get hurt. All right. Doggies being a big help, clearly. Being a good boy, just sitting there like, whatever. You got this handle. So now we have bees. I don't want to fight you, bees. 
Okay, apparently y'all need to work on building your hive, though. Although, I guess technically if you hit a beehive with a um, wooden sword, you probably are going to knock it down. Ooh. It's going to get awkward. Fortunately, they are the slowest bees in the world. Oh, I had to open my big mouth. All right. Now here's another thing that's nice, is that you always want to try to add little sound effects and stuff to your game to make it work, but having the bees kind of make a fart sound when they shoot out um, stingers, I'll leave that to you all. So, Oh my, oh my, oh my! You brought Dex to see me? Who's a good girl? Yep, you're the good girl. You are so blessed to have a friend like her to watch over you, Flynn. Someday I'd love to take care of such a gracious beast. Hey. Want, want to try this new herbal tonic I just brewed up? I use weld edge blooms, cardinal leaves, and a single snapfish eyeball. Ha, just kidding. I would never use leaves in my tonics. Oh, wow, she's... She's looking a little crazy. So you're not, so you're not actually going to try it. Hey, Flan! I'm really glad you're here. I have this crazy itch about 11 team places I can't reach. Could you help me out? No, no, no. Not with the sword. Never mind. I'll figure it out. Heather promised to make an ointment, but I've seen her bruise did sword baggy over there. He used to have hair. Look! Dude who used to have hair. Hi. Oh dear, my splendid hat is missing. I was walking out of my house and a hefty gust of wind almost toppled me over. Must have taken. I'm awfully exposed without it. My head is on fire. I feel a sunburn coming on. Help an elderly old dear, would you boy? In return, you may borrow my shiny gate key. Alright, so... It, I just think of... Um, okay, we can't get through the gate here. For some reason, it reminds me of Progress Quest, a game that maybe five of you have heard of. Where it's like, find this key, find this hat. That's not the inventory button, it's select. A quite magnificent piece of headwear belonging to Beagie, or Baggy, Beagy. So we deliver this hat. Thank goodness for you. I was sta I was starting to get toasted by the sun. I could have gone inside, but I like the beautiful outdoors too much. As promised, take my gate key and continue doing whatever it is you kids do these days. Thanks again, my dear. So, magical key floating next to us. Magical doggo walking next to us. Not bad. Totally nice big tree with knots in it. So we're just gonna have oh you get to pet the dog that's that's all you need to know so we're just gonna have a hang what a good day that didn't sound great uh-oh it's not the poop deer from uh battle block theater so dex is sleeping again maybe you should check that out yourself nah i'd like to take the big scary dog with me Dodge roll, we know. Alright. I imagine we can push these. I imagine correctly. Back attacks are fun. There's a book. What does the book do? Ancient tome. It seems to hold a lot of information, but you can't read the strange text. Hopefully there's somebody out there that knows. Uh-oh. Well, I've played a few games like this. This is the part where I shut it off and just say we're done. Oh look, mysterious dude in the forest. What's up? Well, look who it is! Hey neighbor, have you noticed these yellow bars above these baddies' heads? It's a little weird, but useful. Once the bar fills completely, they hit our sun state. You can smack them freely for a few seconds till they come back to their senses. Don't forget to dodge roll to avoid incoming attacks. Enemies that flash are about to attack, so watch out when they do that. Looks like Bowen has you running in air as usual, so I'll let you go. Come around for dinner if you want. My mom's making snapfish pie. Oh, that's... Can we skip to that part of the game? Well, fuck. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, we didn't die. I would appreciate having a little more life, though. Yeah. 
It had to be bees. Okay, let's see what's up here. Even more bees. I saw myself flash for a minute when I was pressing down. Okay, so there's our fart bee sound again. I'm really mature and I'm sorry. If something sounds like a fart, it's a fart bee. Okay, so that's gonna open this thing up. Could have just gone through the ground. You're a magical diamond. What? Oh! Okay. Timing. There's no run button, so I just gotta not slow down. Alright. That's gonna be a thing in this game then. Okay. Okay, we'll dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Does mean we're also stuck back here, which is a little bit of a problem. Hello. Um, I don't know what we got from that, but this is some errand, shrine of influence. Uh, you know, honestly makes me think a little bit more of Soul Blazer all of a sudden. That's not a bad comparison, Soul Blazer. Probably my favorite of the, uh, that slate of games. Um, I, I can't hold it any longer. Alistair! It's okay, dear. Do what you need to do. We can still save them. I'm so sorry, my love. Goodbye. Ooh, dramatic, dramatic backstory. So we got a bunch of points that we can't do nothing with. Got a start menu, got an overworld map, and we could just walk away. No one would probably stop us. Of course we're going to go inside, so... Fire... So we're the son of Crimson, allegedly. What does that mean? Okay. Uh-oh. Ah! So the weird red-haired boy I've heard so much about decided to show. Father was right, you look dreadfully weak. This won't take long, then I'll execute everyone else in this dreadful island. Rosie, a destroyer of Cardinal Island has a nice ring to it. Come at me, bruh. Okay, boss fight. Um, so I'm probably about to die. Do you have a stamina bar? Alright. Okay. Look! I am pathetically weak. Uh-oh. What have you done? I tinker with this for hours with no result and it chooses you? This is not what's supposed to happen. There's no way you can control that crimson sword. It's supposed to be mine. Oh well, it's more fun for me. I'll just have to take it after I destroy you. Oh good, now we have... I'll still find a way to die. Because I'm taking a lot of bad damage here. But she does have her uh, stun bar approaching. I do have some nice iframes available, so boom, boom, boom. Quick time events! Oh man. Somebody got destroyed. And puppy's here. Stupid beast! Get out of my way! Ah, I don't have time for this. I'll just have to take your power instead. Oh, did you just... Did you just kill my dog? Ha, father will be proud. This will do just fine. Oh, you're a bad, you're a bad person. You're a terrible person. Oh my, are you okay, Flynn? I was collecting some mushrooms nearby and I heard a loud crashing. What happened? <gasps> Dex? Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. That person did what? Without Dex's guardian spirits, her energy will slowly drain over time and... Well, I don't want to think about it. You have to find that person again. We can't lose our beautiful guardian. I heard that there's a crimson shrine similar to this one at the very top of the mountain. That'd be a good start. You should go find that place, Flynn. At least one of the four guardian spirits will ha have 
will give her enough energy to make it to uh, Sanctica or Sanctia. As soon as you're able to revive the spirit, please come straight back. Go, Flynn, to the top of the mountain. Jesus. I just wanted to take the dog for a walk. That's that's literally all I wanted to do. Just just take the dog for a walk. I wonder if I go back to the ranch and say, uh, my dog died trying to save me. Hey, lad, I heard about what happened in the shrine. I knew this day was coming. You've always been met for more than a simple life. You can finally start the journey. I'm sure you'll answer all the questions. You can stop bugging me at the dinner table. This is who you really are, Flynn. But don't forget our training. Come back here without missing a limb and lose another. I'll hold down the cabinet by myself. Weapon and armor and shipments to uh, Sancti I have to continue. Well, I'd kind of like to, like, I don't know, get some weapons? But I guess we'll just uh, make do with what we have. Ancient tome, so we still don't know. But we do have our... Uh, um, we can't return the map from here, so... Alright. Well, to the mountain. That's apparently not on the map. Alright, so we're almost dead. Flynn! Wait up! I wanted to give you something back at the grove, but I got totally sidetracked after what happened to Dex. Take these healing orbs. They're only meant for human, else I would have kept them for Dex. She'll most likely need special treatment. They were handed down to me by a mother, and I use them as vessels for life essence whenever people get sick. I'm sure they will come in handy. For your hike up the mountain, once the orb is full and you're feeling weak, simply give it a squeeze. Oh, I almost forgot! Here, let me fill them up for you. Yay! Once an orb is full and you're feeling weak, simply give it a squeeze. Remember, life essence is key to filling them. So we need to get... So we can heal. That's good. You can press Y to heal some more. Alright, that was a little bit of a waste. Alright, cool. So, 2D action time. With one of our fart bees up ahead. Fortunately, it's easily dodged. Okay. That's really good to know. Do appreciate the uh, Castlevania style sounds for triggering those. Should be able to roll under no problem. Once again, have a few questions about how we're supposed to get back from some of this stuff, but whatever. That's not a today problem. So we have crystals that fill my life bar. We have crystals that fill my uh, other bar. We have bees that fart. We have a hidden uh, ladder thing up here that I can't reach right now. And I don't think I can reach it that Oop, we almost We almost got bead. I have a feeling if I push the blocks down there. Boop. Fortunately, you can pull and push. Just don't want to trap myself in there on accident, because that would be a little awkward. All right. Alright. Block pushing puzzles. What kind of game doesn't have these? Alright. Magic ladder. Do, 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 do. This looks like it could be a secret. It's not. Let's try rolling into it. Okay, it's definitely not. Sorry, too much Metroid. Alright, to the left. Nope, too much Capcom. Alright, so... Now we have spike pits. Oh, God. And we actually got poked from behind by a tiny bee. So I gotta... Watch a little bit. Hopefully we can figure out... Some good stuff to do with this. Okay. They're being really generous with the amount of life they're giving here, so... Let's appreciate that generosity while we wait to get better in the game. So it's Neighbor! What's up, Neighbor? Whoa, Flynn! Oh, it's Kale. 
What's that glowy thing in your hand? Crimson? What power passed down by who? I don't get it, but it looks cool. Oh, I bet you can use it to throw small amounts of energy for a quick range attack. You know, like we always used to throw rocks at each other. Let's see if you can do it on this terribly mutated flora. Boy, I can't wait. Just watch out for those tongue whips. Gross. Magic. Okay, I don't know what L LB's doing here, but we can... All right, so that's the thing. Okay, that's a little annoying. Guess I just need to make my magic just a touch stronger. Whoop! Probably don't need to fall on the spikes there. Okay, we get it. Interestingly that that does not use the little crystals that I have, so I guess that's currency. So we're not in full Soul Blazer territory where, um, where we, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where we get little shards to use spells and stuff. Alright. Alright. Kind of a waste. So easy. Nice crits. Also appreciate that Kale can acknowledge the yellow bars. You you just weren't dying. That makes no sense. Alright. So, up. We apparently took the up route instead of the down route. So we're gonna just follow the route to see where it goes. Apparently nowhere, nowhere that different from the down route. Thank you. Hello, B. Okay, maybe slightly different than the other route. Okay, can we swim? Okay. Alright. Sorry, just always trying to figure out the rules of the game. So we got Castlevania style swimming here. No great secrets on this end that I can tell. I don't know why that guy is so off the screen we couldn't damage him. Okay. A little too aggro there. Do it the easy way. Alright, can we jump up here? It doesn't look like it. Huh. I think the game's trying to teach us something. Probably that I can swim all the way under this crap. Yeah, that seems... Seems like the logical conclusion there, so... Okay, that doesn't appear to be on a timer. Well, so far, the combat's pretty satisfying. I mean, it's it's fairly straightforward, but that's not a bad thing. More gems! And we got another temple. Hooray! 
And we got charged little thing as well. Cool. So look at our little Orbeez. All right, Wild Edge retreat with multiple exits down here. So apparently we're looking for a mountain that must be somewhere else. But I am because this is kind of an action-y game. I'm going to try to keep the episodes on this maybe shorter than you might be used to on this channel. So if it looks like a good time to stop, we're going to stop. If it looks like a good time to keep going, we're going to keep going. But so far, I am, in fact, having a good time. So that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. We will do this again soon. This is Crimson, or Flynn, son of, son of Crimson. Flynn, son of Crimson. I should know how to pronounce this. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, please pay your respects to Dex the dog that we are going to work very hard to save here. And we'll do this again soon. Thanks for watching. I always enjoyed doing something a little bit different on the channel, but we will do this again real soon. You all take care.